Hello and welcome to our video on the top 10 biblical findings. Throughout history, archaeologists have made many fascinating discoveries that shed light on the people, events, and places mentioned in the Bible. From ancient inscriptions to monumental structures, these findings provide valuable insights into the world of the Bible and help us understand the historical and cultural context in which it was written. In this video, we will explore some of the most remarkable biblical discoveries that have been made over the years. So sit back, relax, and join us on this journey through time and history. Now, to begin we shall start in the northern boundaries of Israel. The Tel Dan Steel is a significant archaeological discovery from the 1990s in northern Israel. It is a stone slab with an inscription in Aramaic that mentions a house of David. This is the first time that the name of King David has been found outside of the Bible, providing historical evidence for the existence of the Davidic dynasty and the kingdom of Judah. The discovery of the Tel Dan steel is important as it supports the historical accuracy of the Bible and sheds light on the political and cultural context of ancient Israel. Number 2 is Kerbet Kiafa. Kerbet Kiafa is an ancient fortified city in Israel that dates back to the 10th century BC and is believed to have been part of the Kingdom of Judah. Excavations at the site have revealed significant historical findings, including the earliest known Hebrew writing inscribed on a pottery shard. These discoveries provide valuable insights into the early history of Israel and the development of the Hebrew language. Next up is the City of David. The City of David is an archaeological site in Jerusalem believed to be the original site of the city founded by King David. Excavations have uncovered fortifications, homes, and other structures dating back to the Iron Age. The site provides significant historical and biblical insights into the ancient city's origins and development, as well as the lives and culture of the people who live there. At number 4 we have Megiddo. Megiddo is an important archaeological site located in northern Israel that was a key city during biblical times. The site has been extensively excavated and features structures that date back to the Iron Age, including a tunnel believed to have been part of a water system. Megiddo is also the site of several significant battles, including the Battle of Armageddon mentioned in the Book of Revelation. The site's historical and biblical significance has made it an important location for archaeological research, providing valuable insights into ancient Israelite society and military tactics. And halfway through we have Beit Sheen. Beit Sheen is an archaeological site in northern Israel that has a rich history dating back to the Neolithic period. The city was an important center during biblical times and was destroyed and rebuilt several times. Excavations at the site have revealed the remains of the city, including impressive structures such as a Roman theater, bathhouses, and a market. The site has been a source of fascination for archaeologists and historians alike, providing valuable insights into the culture and way of life during the ancient times. Sitting at number 6 is Tel Hazer. Tel Hazer is an important archaeological site in northern Israel that was a significant city during biblical times. It was destroyed and rebuilt multiple times, and finally abandoned in the 2nd century BC. Excavations at the site have uncovered the remains of the city, including a palace, temple, and fortifications, as well as numerous artifacts. The discoveries have shed light on the political and social history of the region, including the relationship between Hazer and other ancient cities such as Megiddo and Jerusalem. At 7 we have the Gezer Calendar. This is a significant archaeological find that provides insight into the agricultural practices of the ancient Israelites. This small limestone tablet contains a list of agricultural activities that were performed during each month of the year. It was discovered at Tel Gezer in central Israel in the early 20th century and is believed to date back to the 10th century BC. The Gezer calendar sheds light on the importance of agriculture in ancient Israel and the ways in which the Israelites organized their society around the agricultural cycle. And at 8 we have Tel Rehav, which is an ancient city located in northern Israel that was inhabited during biblical times. The site has been excavated and numerous important finds have been uncovered, 
including the remains of a city gate, a palace, and a temple. One of the most significant discoveries at Tel Rehav was a beehive workshop that produced honey for export. The site provides important insights into the daily life and industry of the ancient Israelites. At number 9 we have the Lakish Letters. The Lakish Letters are a valuable collection of ancient inscriptions that provide insights into the political and military history of the Kingdom of Judah during the 7th century BC. These ostraca, or pottery fragments, were discovered during excavations at Lakish, a city that played an important role in ancient Israel. The letters include correspondence between military officials and provide details about the Assyrian invasion of Judah, including the siege of Lachish. The Lachish letters are considered one of the most significant archaeological discoveries related to the kingdom of Judah. And finally at number 10 we deal with the Assyrians and some of their defense ramps that were used as the Bible outlined. The article reports on the discovery of two Assyrian siege ramps at Tel Lachish an ancient city in Israel, that were used in the conquest of the city by the Assyrian army in 701 BC. The ramps were constructed of earth and stones and allowed the Assyrian army to breach the city walls. The discovery of these siege ramps provides valuable archaeological evidence of the Assyrian conquest of Tel Lachish and offers insights into the military tactics of the time. And with that shalom, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next Top 10.